Hi, my name is Willix, and this is episode four of Project Ozone 3 Kappa Mode. Well, today we're, our goal is a mob slaughter factory. But uh, we're going to start off, I'm going to show you a little bit of what I did with an analog crafter. Uh, I made some water mills for some uh, grid power. Uh, they have a new method to make gears in the uh, beta pack now. They uh, were going to make some machine frames and we're going to need some plastic sheets so we're going to make a tree fluid extractor and a latex processor. We'll sieve for some specter saplings and we'll make some gargantuan drums and eventually get to our mob slaughter factory so we can get some pink slime. Uh, we're also, which is not on the list, we're going to do uh, a sluice box and show you some automation for some patient bags as well. So, let's get started here. Oh, just before I do, one th I'll leave that up. One thing that I wanted to talk to you about is a couple of people recently complained that they were getting some noise on my channel. Now, I wasn't getting noise when I listened to any of my videos. And I wasn't, I'm not 100% sure what's causing it for them, but they are getting noise. And so I'd had a problem before where uh, the bus port on my computer started to go. My case is ancient. I've been using the same case for the last 12 years or something. And um, so I just switched bus ports and it started working again. And it was fine. And I had to switch bus ports again after that. So I thought maybe that was the problem. So I switched bus ports again. Oh, serious pain in the ass with my computer. It fights back like mad when I change bus ports. Nothing seems to want to work after that. And I have to fiddle with all sorts of different settings to get it to function. But I did all that. A couple hours later, then I checked it, and it made absolutely no difference to how much noise I would hear when I turned it up really, really loud. So I doubt it solved the problem. So I tried something else. I have the gain on my microphone set up to 100%. Now you're not supposed to set it that high. You're supposed to be recording at something like 60%, but it was too quiet when I did that. And I think when I first started making videos, I was doing them at 80% and people were complaining that my voice was too quiet and I should speak up or something. Now, from there, I don't talk quietly. I talk very loud, actually. The uh, and I was setting it at 80 then. So I decided to split the difference and set it at 90. Uh, oh, and the reason I didn't just think of the ha telling them to turn up their speakers or whatever is some people have devices where they don't have very good volume controls on the device to play it back. It's not a, They don't always play it back on a computer. So let me know if you can hear me loud enough when I've set it at 90. And also, whether any of the people that were getting noise on my channel, if that helped get rid of the noise at all, so that I know what to do going forward. Let me know in the comments. All right, let's get on to some of the stuff. Let's go show you what I did with an analog crafter. Here was the issue I was dealing with. It was witch hats were the problem. So if you see in here, witch hats keeps, keep building up, right? And they don't go into drawers properly anymore. I don't know what happened to them. But now if I put one in a drawer, it just only one goes in and that's it. So that's not a solution. I could c come up with a separate uh, thing for them like I did for books and such. But um, I decided to handle it a different way. Why, why keep them at all? Why not craft them right away into something useful like redstone? So I set it up in here where I blocked off these sides, put an X in all of them. Like we flip around, eventually get to X is disabled. We can go backwards actually by left clicking. X is disabled. Uh, and I'm just right clicking or left clicking to get where I want to be. A is accessed from all sides. And then it, it can only put witch hats here in the middle, in the A's, and can't put anything in the X's. Now, I've deliberately turned this off. And we'll turn it on now. Oh, and keep in mind, it's set to witch hats. That's a filter there, just a basic filter. So we'll put the insert on. 
And you see the witch hats came in, and it's going to turn it into a stack of reds, or not stack, but six redstone. And it's going to keep doing that. However, there's a problem with this. When it only has, when it doesn't, when it gets through the backlog that's up there, and there's what, maybe 12 or something it's got to get through. When it does, and there's only one of them, it turns that one hat into sticks. So I don't want to leave it all the time or I start turning all my witch hats into sticks, and that sucks. So I've either got to figure out some way to make sure that there is uh, always at least three to go in before it crafts. Because I can't use the sticky, because they don't suck. See, here's where it has a problem. Now, it doesn't do anything with two, but, um, whoops, no, not brown. Oh, right click, there we go. Take it off of insert. So now it's st stopped there, no more are gonna come in and it won't be turned into sticks. Or I I could, like I could do something with like a comparator and a chest and make sure there's enough in there and then it feeds them over. But I can't be bothered to do all that stuff. I'm gonna wait until I get something like a sequential fabricator. I keep forgetting to make a mark for that one. There we go. But I need an empower to do that. And I'll have one of those in maybe next episode. Probably not next episode. Maybe the episode after next. I'll have an empower and I'll do it that way. Once I can make the sequential fabricator because it won't have that problem. The, uh, let me show you one other thing here. So I've been catching uh, cow fluid cows, putting them in here. I also put a, uh, a, a chicken on a hopper and it's feeding in eggs and feathers that way. Um, I've been catching the fluid cows and putting them away and then I just run through and kill everything there. Um, and I clean up the uh, uh, tall grass with this thing and just collect that. Not that I want to collect it, I just want to get the tall grass out of my way so I can see the mobs. Now the way I've been getting those soul wells for now, I'm getting to the point where I could craft craft them pretty soon, but uh, for now what I've been doing is I've been getting them from uh, loot bags. I just want one. Oh well. I'll we'll put one away. And I've been coming through here. Now, I haven't designed this very well yet. They get out of it somehow for some reason. And I don't know what I did differently. When I had the long thing that was seven long, they never seemed to try to get out. But I've been coming back here. I'll put this way back here. Put that in there. Yeah. Now, they don't try to get out every time. Notice I just got hit. It's pushed me up against this, so we've got to wait till that wears out. Or I'll fly up and fall down and die because I'm not for there we go. Fall down and die. And we don't want to see that happen. But that's how I've been getting the empty uh, soul valves. And I gotta figure out a better system for that. What happened to the I should have got one other thing from that as well. Let's grab, uh, let's grab pizza this time. Okay, and now we go faster. Cool. All right. Oh, and what I should have shown you while I was down there was the water bells. So I set these things up. And uh, basically, you said that's source water there in the corner. And the opposite corner has source water as well. And that means there's flowing water on all four sides of these things. And I've got, as you can see, eight of them. And I'm getting 106 uh, grid power with, out of eight of them. Stand back here so you can see the setup that I have. All right. And while we're down here, let's do one other thing that's going to be coming up so I don't have to run back down here again. I made myself some nether brick, which is just, uh, you use the regular nether, nether bricks and make them into a big brick. 
And to make that, you just cook another rack. And another rack you get by um, a stone barrel with lava and redstone in it. Now, what I made this for, oh, and there's, you can't see it, there's one underneath the lava as well, one brick under there. And we throw one piece of gold in here, and we get a demon ingot. Now, you, you lose some gold doing that. I think I threw 24 in, and I got back like 21 demon ingots. I only need one more. I already made 23 of them. So, that's how I got my demon ingots when I start using them. All right, let's get on to some of this other stuff. So now that I had grid power, the uh, lunar re reactive dust was easy. We could just put it in this. Oh, by the way, uh, from what I understand, this is not a uh, Titan mode recipe anymore. So you got to go mine the ore in the nether or a laser drill or something like that. Uh, or let me know. Somebody told me that it wasn't in Titan, but I haven't really, I haven't checked it myself. So anyways, we can make the uh, moonstones like that. And then we put them in here with our uh, thickened glass, which is just sandy glass cooked. And sandy glass is just regular glass and sand. So we get ineffable glass that way. Now we need four copper coil machine blocks. This is all working towards our machine frames. And that's uh, copper plates. Oh, that was what I didn't do on my list. I didn't show you gears. Gears and plates. Let's actually go over and do that. So I had to come over here and I've been making my gears this way. For instance, copper gear. The uh, Notice that there is no four ingots to do it anymore, but you can pour them into a cast. But to make the cast, if we check here, it says you can make a stone compound gear or one further, or a regular stone gear and do it that way. Well, when I did it with my aluminum brass, it didn't work. Couldn't pour it over the stone gear. And so I made a stone gear first, and then I tried it with stone compound gear. I tried it with various different wooden gears. None of them would pour like that. But then I tried it with gold and did work, and I made my cast that way. Now, I probably shouldn't have gone into that much detail. That's probably something that's going to be fixed. This is a beta. But just in case it makes it through, I had to use gold to, do, uh, to make the cast. And I also made the cast for uh, the plates as well that I'm about to use. And I put one of these things up here so that I can uh, pour the plates out really quick and do it that way. A lot better than having to hammer them all. When I, I had, I'm going to be using a lot of plates here. Not so much on this one. Oh, a tungsten. Uh, you get that from sieving. Oh, the tungsten. Here, you get that from sieving. And it's just crushed netherrack, and I showed you how I get netherrack with the... Um, well, I showed it to you already this episode. That, and these things, so more iron plates, more copper gears. And we put those here and here. I wanted eight of those, not four of those. I counted wrong again. Oh well, I'll make them later. So anyways, I've got four machine frames for now. I only need two anyways. So that covers them off. And we're going to uh, now need some uh, plastic sheets. So actually, let's start checking things off. Oh, crap to that, gears, machine frames. So we're gonna need the tree fluid extractor. That's easy. And 
I'm glad I turned the volume down on that. Hope that is the lower volume one, right? Then um, I'm going to use this timer. I could use a clock or the other timer, but I decided to use this one just to show you that you can make it. And that's the standard recipe. Those normally aren't up um, gated. Clock standard recipe. So we can use that timer. Then we need the. Oh, we need our one of our machine frames here for our latex processing unit. We're also going to need a sink. Find a recipe on that. And then for the next stuff, we need. I know a machine frame goes in there, but. Oh yeah, that's where we need the plastic sheets. Okay. So let's come over here and set some of this up. So tree fluid extractor. Um, yeah, we want to be this direction. It doesn't need power, so I'm going to put it off the end of this line of power. And Oh, I know what I forgot to make because it was on the end here. I didn't feel like move every, moving everything. It is a block placer. I prefer the actually addition one, but it's not in this pack. And we'll put that there. And then where you're going to need some wood. Let's come over here and get some wood. We got lots and lots of stacks of wood. And then we're going to put down our timer. No, that's not turned the right way. There we go. Now notice it's going off way too often. Let's make that 1,000 instead. So it doesn't, it's not constantly going tick, 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 tick. Now it's going to take more than 1,000 for it to burn through a, uh, a whole one of these, but I don't want it to have to wait too long before it places a new one. All right, so the next thing up is our latex. Oh, I shouldn't have put that down yet. Yeah, you don't auto feed. Unlike the uh, thermal stuff, there's no auto feed there. Doesn't need to be very fast, so we can just put one of uh, these on. That's the fluid ones. And now the fluid's coming in. All right, but it's also going to need water, so we're going to go uh, control. So it's going into it, not out of it. Actually, utilities ran into a problem. What problem did you run into? Put that down there, so now it's getting water. And it's making our tiny dry rubber. I've used all the stuff, yep, okay. So now we're, it's going to take a little while for it to do all its processing. So let's cover off next on our list our spectre saplings. So I put a stack of dirt up here, it got fed down into the uh, witch water and it made tainted soil. And I don't have to break it or anything, but I deliberately have to use it on the flint mesh one. So we're going to sieve it. And we'll get all the stuff, the tainted soil drops. Eh, 
And we got two spectre saplings, which is enough. Let's empty out in the one that did dirt. I don't want to give it its own its own chest. Oh, where's my spectre sapling? There we go. Get rid of you. Okay, we'll come over here. We still got room in here, right? Yeah. Hate the way it does that. All right, and uh, there we go. Pull that one out. I right clicked with my uh, axe. Well, in this case, my uh, Paxil. And we'll plant that in there. And now we'll start getting them. Uh, we'll come back in a second. See, I hope it doesn't, um, where it can't uh, use the ectoplasm to make dirt. These things take a second to finish off for some reason. So we're getting the wood. I think the ectoplasm is a separate thing. This is at 13%. So we'll come back and check on that in a sec. I may need to set up a filter in here to stop it or there, sorry. A filter there to stop it from eating the ectoplasm if it does. All right, the other things I wanted to do. Um, while we wait. Gargantuan, actually, let's unclick that because I, I want to go check it. All right. The gargantuan drum. The uh, reason, a couple of people mentioned it that um, in Titan mode, these things are much harder to make than they, are, than they were here for me. They, uh, where is it here? Where figures? Quantum tank. The, so this is just the basic re standard recipe, and you need something much tougher in Titan mode to uh, to do it. So I suspect this is going to be changed. It hasn't been. I did one update recently. There's another update out just. Uh, few moments before I made this and I haven't uh, done that update yet because I want to get this video done see what happens um, so I know that we're going to be changing over eventually and so we're going to make some gargantuan drums this part the iron drums that's cheap I got enough iron to sink a ship This is the deer part, this section here. I'm using diamonds, and I don't have a really good source of diamonds yet. They're a fairly low drop on um, sieving. Then we need Klein bottles. I got lots of ender pearls. So we put those there. Oh, my one more of those there these here and we get the gargantuan so if I'm gonna make these anyways I might as well make the gargantuan because this stuff is all cheap all right so we've got those done um, yeah something I didn't have on the list was a sluice box so let's make a sluice box so we take the iron stiffen mesh which is the flint stiffen mesh with iron etc You've, you know how to do that. And an iron plate. We get the iron mesh. Put the iron mesh in there. And we get ourselves a sluice box. And what we're going to do with the sluice box is we're going to process arcane bricks into embers. Or whatever those things are called. So our I'm getting these as mob drops. Uh, deliberately because I'm in extreme biomes, um, the golems are uh, ending up in my mob farm. I put a whole list of all the different biomes in uh, the description of the first episode of this. 
uh, of ca the Kappa mode, telling you all the different ones where you can get those from, get the golems from. So let's grab ourselves. I'll deliberately would do it with two. I should only do it with one, but I want to show you what happens. This is a bug that I don't think is going to be fixed. Uh, let's put... There we go. So if we take our two buckets and we click there, notice there's two buckets right now of water, they stack. We're left with only one bucket. Why is that? This thing... Oh, where'd my... Oh, the water can flow out when I put it that close. Well, let's not put it that close then. Let's put it back one. But the reason it's like that is you can have it flow down through like multiple different sluices and do it that way. So if we do this, and it stays there now until I use it. Oh, no, it still doesn't stay there. I'm wrong. So what we do is we put it in there and immediately put some there. Notice it used 10. That was a stack of 64 and it immediately uses 10 of them. And so this doesn't take very long at all when we're doing 10 at a time. Should have put them right beside each other on the bar. That would have made it easier. There we go. So we now have four stacks of these ember shards. So I'm not using them this episode. I just wanted you to know how I was getting them. So when I start peering with them and you go, hey, but you didn't make the thing that goes down at... Uh, um, zero Y level to get these. Well, how did you get them? Well, now you know. All right. Um, let's check and see if we've got enough of uh, this stuff yet. 29. No, we need uh, 9 times 4. We need 36. So we'll come over here and one of the things I've been getting, let's see if we got another one yet. No. In here, oh, yeah, we did. We got another patient back. So I come over here. I think I got one of these left open, don't I? Yeah, I do. Put the patient bag in here. And you can see what it's doing. I move further away from the edge there. So what this is set up is it both inserts and extracts, always active. The important part is I've self-feed enabled. And so they just keep going back and forth, back and forth, until we eventually get a uh, another star. They haven't had it that long yet, so I'd be surprised if any of these were nether stars. But I think I got it going in all of them. Yep. So eventually all of those will turn into nether stars. All right, anything, no, nope, nothing else to do. Oh, yeah, I know what there was else to do. Where are we getting, uh, yeah, the ectoplasm is not being sent over. Neither are the spectral leaves or the saplings. That's interesting. I guess you cannot uh, do that with them. All right, so that finishes off that one then. So that's finished, that's finished. Thirty-three. Well, we'll use what we've got for now. Thirty-four of them. Come over here. Use. That gives us three of them for now. We'll cook them up. We need uh, two sheets immediately. And we'll get one more in a second. 
Okay. So this comes over here. And we got our mob slaughter factory. Then to make the next part, we're going to need the others. The other two. We've got them now. Cool. This won't take very long. Okay, and we'll come over here. And we need a range upgrade for the... Uh, I'm using the iron one, which is a range plus three. It's a seven by seven room. Okay. We'll come over here. I don't like where I put this. I shouldn't have done it like that. Let's uh, do it like this. And I'm going to put it right there. Let's hope nobody shoots me in from in here. There we go. And then, where's my conduit? There it is. Can I get? Yeah, I did it. What do you know? Do I have? No, I don't. Nothing to fill that in yet. All right, so we'll put our range up. Let's show you what happens first. So show working area. See the working area? It's just this tiny little area there, right? One by one. So we come over here and we put our working rate, our range upgrade in. And it goes three in all directions. So it actually moves that one by one into the center and then goes three in all directions. Notice it's not covering the very top here. I may, uh, once I've got enough pink slime to do what I immediately need to do, I'll probably put it up on the top row and catch bats or anything that decides to float around up there. So this is starting to get uh, some of each actually, so we can deal with that right away. Ooh, I've got the wrong uh, thing here. Let's uh, over here. It's not that that I need. It's now. I don't think I need harden for this. I could have used something else, but uh, that's all I have made because I was doing hot fluids most of the time. But you can use uh, harden if you want. So we'll put that on there. We'll take one of the drums, toss it on top. We'll put in a servo. Set it to always on. And meat went in there. So now what's probably happening is the pink slime is in the channel here because I know there was some and now there's not so it's got to be inside this thing so we put that there now we get the pink slime if I put them both in originally they would have both got a little bit of um, the meat this way I'm separating them out all right and so oh, I know what else we should do should turn that off there we go we won't lose any more to uh, that thing All right, so is that everything for this? Yeah, I think that's everything for this episode. I hope you got something worthwhile of it. Go out there and have some fun. Thanks.